Hi, I'm Ritika. I'm the visual designer at Deep Source, and today we're going to talk about Duck Hollis Arnie mascot. What I had to start with was this idea of a cyborg duck named after Chuck Norris and I had a rough initial sketch to begin with and from there there have been many many iterations to what you see right now. Um, I tried out different styles, different inspirations, different color schemes and uh, there were a, a lot of different versions to reach where we did. So once the design was kind of finalized um, I created something called a character bible. So in character design, it basically is a document that contains all the vital information pertaining to that particular character, which includes a uh, full body turnarounds, expression sheets, different poses, an alternate wardrobe, and it's also a form of documentation since uh, this character is supposed to appear in our product, in our illustrations and batting pages. So for a designer, this document is pretty important going forward. So, was there a certain part of Dr. Arisa that took longer to finalize? Definitely the eyes, uh, weirdly enough. So, initially, uh, I had a lot of different ideas for how we would look. And with the eyes, I wanted to do one robotic eye or a techie eyepiece. But uh, in the end, I had to scrap all of this because I realized the eyes are crucial to this character because uh, it basically humanizes the character. So, in the end, I went with pretty simplistic but expressive human-like eyes on this duck and that I went through many iterations for the eyes as well. So one thing I learned was the difference in designing a character and designing a mascot. So initially my approach was designing a character and I focused on things like aesthetic and making him look cool. I had to change my approach when designing a mascot for a company because the mascot represents the company and if I make, like with the, what I mentioned with the eyes, if I make the mascot look cold and robotic and unbothered, that makes Deep Source look cold and unbothered, which is the opposite of what we're trying to portray here. So that the mascot has to have this likability to it, because that reflects on Deep Source and our philosophy. We tried a bunch of uh, different methods of product integration, and it wasn't really working out uh, since uh, introducing a mascot can be pretty tr tricky because it should not be jarring and it should be done in a very subtle way. So what we ended up with was an alternate version of Duck Norris called Pixel Norris. Uh, it's basically an 8-bit version of the mascot who will appear in our product. And I got to dabble in a lot of pixel art which is not something I'd done before. And this also contributed to us expanding and kind of defining our illustration system. And we are creating a larger world around Duck Norris, a larger universe around Duck Norris, which would be this 8-bit sci-fi video game world. The backstory video was super fun to work on. We went through the whole process of scripting, storyboarding, animating, sound, all of that. And uh, it was really fun to go through all those steps and see the final product in the end. And also I think it helps us understand Duck Norris a little better. And me, myself as a designer, got to really dig deep into where his motivations are coming from and how he became the mascot. I think it's just a fun addition to the universe, like I mentioned. How many ducks do you think you've drawn in this entire process? I don't even know. I think I'm an expert at doing ducks now. I've drawn so many ducks. 